Hello guys, this is a small tutorial on how to set up your new A320 flight box for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Okay, so first things first, we go to control panel, we open up control panel, hardware and sound, go to devices and printers, and then we check where it says, uh, you know, throttle tech. We go to game controller settings and we go to properties and we start a calibration. Okay, there's a little bit of a difference when you want to use it with Flight Simulator 2020 and this is one of the steps uh, that have to be changed against using Prepare 3D or using X-Plane. So this is how we do it. We go to calibrate. We go to next. And we start our calibration. You'll see it might, might be jerking off the little cross. That's totally normal. It's going to stop once you start moving your handles. So start moving your handles here. See? You have to do it all the way to the back. Okay, guys? All the way to the back. All the way to the back. There you go. The same with this one, all the way to the back, at least three to four times, all the way to the back. Okay, okay, we go here, and then we check. We have to check, just close it up a bit. You have to check that, that it moves all the way up and all the way down from the light, ro uh, light uh, sorry, right lower corner to the upper left. Once we're here, which is this is the most important step, put the camera down, okay? In order to make it this the center, you put it at zero, okay? So, thrust levers are at zero. You might see that your, uh, your cross, it's a little bit moved, doesn't matter. You said next. Next, and then verify the center point again. Next, your center point it's gonna be zero. Then you go up uh, to calibrate the the Z axis. Move it at least three times. It might happen that it doesn't show anything here, but when you put display raw data, you're gonna see that it moves the percentages. No? And then we go to the speed brakes. And we do the exact same thing. But we put our finger here so it doesn't hit the switch for the arming. And we start calibrating it. A hmm? couple of times, two, three times. Then we throw it back. Then we hit next. Okay, now the calibration is complete. All axes and switches are working. Now let's go to Flight Simulator. Okay guys, so here we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So we go to escape, just selected the A320, go to controls. Here controls, we make sure we picked up throttle tech control. We go to all, power management, throttle, and then we'll see that our throttle is selected. There are two ways to select the axis. Throttle one axis, which will map a reverser, and throttle one axis zero to 100, which will map a reverse. So this is what we're gonna select, okay, guys? So again, how you select it? Very easily. You go here, you click on, on find, you move your handle, so you click here, move your handle, and you just put validate. And there you go, guys. So you have your throttle here already, okay. And you go the do the same thing for the second one. So I have it selected already. So we're going to do it again. Go here. We're going to put search. Move the axis. Validate. And there we go. We have our, our two axes selected. Now, this is the part that's going to make the reversers work. It's very easy. You go to sensitivities. Okay, so you're gonna see here, this is how I set up my sensitivities and this is the most important part 
that you have to make sure it's done correctly. So the axis here has to have a sensitivity plus of 85%, both of them, a sensitivity minus of 64%, and then the dead zones, one of my throttles, one of the pots is reading a little bit different than the other one, so that's how we use this, the dead zone, in order to make them work correctly together. Okay, so once we set up this, by setting them up, to set them up, sorry, you just, you know, move, move here, where you want to have them, in this case, going to be 64. Okay, leave it there. Done. Apply and save. And go back. Resume. And now we test our throttles. There we go. So activate the reversers. There it is. We go back to idle. Again. So you can check it. Reversers. Climb. Flex MCT. Toga. And let's check the FMA. So we make sure we're doing it correctly. Let's go up to the FMA here. Okay. It's the FMA. Okay. We have Toga here. No, sorry about that. So we have Toga here. We have Flex. We have Climb. We have Idle. And just to check the reversers actuating, there it goes to reverse. And that's it, guys. This is how you set it up. Any questions, please contact me or let me know. Okay, guys. So now we go to the flaps. Flaps, it's basically the same thing. Go to Escape. Controls. Controls, we check throttle tech three. Then we go, just, just in case, you know, you, you don't have it here. We, have, we go to um, all, span collapse. We go to flight control surfaces. Flight control surfaces, we go to secondary control surfaces. And here we have, we have the flaps and the spoilers. So we use the flaps, minus 100 to 100, and spoilers the axis. So we do the same thing as, the, as what we did with the throttles to select the axis. And then here's the trick. We go to sensitivity. This is how we're gonna use. The flaps, we're gonna use sensitivity minus at zero, plus at zero. The dead zone, since the space for moving the throttle is very small, we give it a bigger dead zone, we give it at 32. And in the case of the spoilers, we put sensitivity minus at zero, sensitivity plus at 100, and everything else as it is. So, go to done, we go back, Resume. Okay, so let's try now with the flaps. So we go to flaps one, flaps two, flaps three, and flaps four. Okay. Go back to three, back to two, back to one, back to zero. Now, in the case of the spoilers, because they're armed. I won't, they, you, you, you won't see them move, but see, you can see the, the pot is moving from 0 to 100, right? This is because it's arm. So then you set up the arming switch that it has in, integrally in the throttle in order to disarm and arm the speed brake. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.